Hello and welcome again to Joomla Reviews from Smart Tactics. It's been a long time since our last episode, but I'm back here again now and I want to talk about the front page of a website. Now we've been working on a recent site and I'm going to end up by showing you some of the work we've done on that site. But we had particular challenges on the front page. And I just want to take you through some of the options which we explored and it may help you as well in some of the work that you do. Now the front page of a, of a website is obviously very important. You want to engage your users, you want to have something that's visually appealing, and you also want to show an overview of what's in your site. And there are lots of alternatives for these things. If you look in the uh, uh, extensions directory, the Joomla extensions directory, we see lots of front page displays and rotators and loads and loads of modules and uh, loads of slideshow movies and all kinds of things that you can do on the front page. And in fact, here's an example of a site which we made some years ago. It needs some rework, but it shows one of the simpler um, things that you could do, which is you see in this banner area, we have these rotating images and that's quite nice. Um, moving on, we're, here's a, another tourism site which we made a number of years ago, but it's displaying a, 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 the next step up from that, which is a rotating banner of images here. But we've also got some link text as well. So it's um, highlighting different parts of the site. It's got some navigation built in, and it's got some link text too. So it's not just the banner images. And this is really useful. And for, this, for this type of site, it's great. In fact, this is a, a use of this um, uh, front page slideshow by Joomla Works, and it's an excellent module. Uh, we've used it on a few other sites too. And front page slideshow is, um, is uh, like I say, excellent, fantastic, and really good for, uh, for this kind of use. But it does have some limitations in the way that we wanted to use it for a new site. The limitation in particular is that it's relatively static. Um, you can change what's in these pages, but you have to edit it in the back end and load new images and load new stories and, and create it. And it's, it's not hard to do, but it, it's relatively static in that way. It's not something that you could edit from the front end at all. And in fact, that's critical for us because in many of the sites that we run and manage for our clients, they are only editing from the front end. In fact, we can have dozens of editors on some of the sites, and they only ever have front-end access. And so front, this front-page slideshow, and indeed many, many, many of the others, simply wouldn't do what we wanted to do because there was no way of interacting it for or making it more dynamic. Also, we're limited in many of these uh, modules by the fact that this is actually a piece of flash that's here. So in fact, all the, whilst you can change some of the stylings and colorings, the main uh, construction of it and how it's laid out is, is, is built into a, a piece of flash code, which is not editable. That's just the way flash works. So we started looking a bit wider and it was quite uh, a lengthy search looking at all the options. And we came up with a rather strange one, one hadn't come across before piece of work by Emir Sakic called Ajax Scroller. Now, Ajax Scroller isn't like these banners at all. It's something completely different, but it did have a couple of things that we were looking for. It's a new scroller, so therefore, fundamentally, it's looking at new pieces of content and looking for them in certain categories and sections that you set up. It's using the Ajax, and that's quite important too, because it's on the front page. So if we're going to scroll through a number of stories, um, you don't want all of those stories loading at the same time as the first page load, because you're just going to slow down people getting onto your home page. So the Ajax scroller actually queues up two stories and then uh, works through bringing the others in as it needs them. And that's excellent. So we liked that. But if I show you the Ajax scroller on Emir's actual own demo site, you might well be underwhelmed with it in terms of its graphics capabilities. It doesn't seem to do very much that you would want to do. You'll see that it's storing the stories and moving them and rotating them, and that's fantastic. But graphically, this really isn't as engaging as anything else that we've seen. There is the capability, although it's not on this uh, 
demo page at all that I can see for it to um, pick up images that are automatically near the header of any of these articles and place those images into the scroller. Ah, I think on this Twitter part it's doing exactly that. So you see here it's placing the image for us and um, placing it into the scroller and that's great. So okay we have some basis here and interestingly when we started looking at it we realized that all of the Ajax part is um, written in JavaScript and that's fantastic but all of the rest all of the layout and everything else is written in CSS and we like that because that gave us absolute freedom then to start working with it and really meld it into what we wanted. I'm going to show you the finished result. Here it is. Uh, this is a new site that's just been launched for a major, major corporate client and you'll see this is that same Ajax scroller albeit with an awful lot of work from us to, to modify it. But there's the beauty of open source software. We okay, we purchased that uh, module from Emmy, but we're able to go and make the changes to to make it do what we want to go and do. You'll see here that we have the image replacement, and we've used CSS to make sure that all the rest of the layout is just as we want it. We have this the fan, the, the we've moved navigation from its original situation. Um, but the whole process of how it works is based upon Emmy's fantastic module and it works a treat. We've also had it uh, added in some other pieces here because this particular client has their own special font. So we've actually modified it here to also work with uh, Kufon font replacement. Uh, Kufon was also new to us uh, until recently so making Kufon work inside the Ajax would uh, was took a little bit of work but we managed to do it and I'm delighted. I think you'll agree the end result is fantastic. So it's a great as a scroller. We scroll the stories through. What's really great about this is that the front page is controlled by a single editor. A single editor who doesn't have to edit all the stories. The stories are, are uh, placed into the different sections of the site by individual editors all day long. When they build their story, they load a picture in the normal way that they would. They put the, hit, the picture near the top of their story in the normal way they would. All the uh, uh, chief editor in chief needs to go and do is click on the stories that they want on the front page and it will automatically throw them into this scroller here. All of the images are resized. The coupon font replacement does the display along with the CSS and everything works beautifully. So what we have is a very dynamic and very graphical front page. Thank you.